Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to see how to create a trial instance in Dynamics 365. So a trial instance is nothing but like a temporary environment that allows the users, developers and business to explore, to evaluate and test the features of Dynamics 365 applications or the out of the box features. So in this video we are going to see how to create trial instance from the scratch how we can create the environments, the solutions, how we can add the prefix to our solutions. And after that, we are going to see how we can create developer environment as well. Because for the trial instance, we have some limitations, like it can only be used for uh, 30 days. But if you choose Microsoft developer environment, it can be uh, used for 30 days or, mo or more than that. So uh, coming to the uh, little brief intro about trial instance, it is like a way for the organizations and the developers to test the software, to understand its functionality, like out of the box functionality and some other functionality, and to determine if it meets the specific business needs before going for the paid version. So this trial instance lets uh, us understand how the program functions, how the apps functions, and whether it can fit to our needs before we decide to go for the paid version or the for the subscriptions. In Microsoft, we have different kind of subscriptions like pay as you go and a lot of things are there but we are only going to focus on the trial instance so it's like a try before you buy opportunity so that uh, the business uh, can make sure they are making the right choice before going for the paid plan now without wasting time let's check uh, the implementation so i'm going to search dynamics 365 trial instance so before registering for the trial instance, make sure you have an active email ID and a phone number because you will be getting the OTP and related information in that mail ID only. So now we are in the phase where uh, we can enable trial instance for different modules like we have sales module, customer service, field service, remote assistance, business center, a lot of modules are there. So the process is uh, similar for all modules only. Uh, in here we'll see with the trial instance of sales model so click on try and here let's give the email id try to give your work email id uh, or the email id which you have not used earlier for creating any trial instance otherwise it may show you some um, warnings or errors so start your trial and here uh, it's asking for the okay I think I have enabled multi-factor authentication, so I'll just accept it. Now, uh, whenever uh, in the process, we may need to give some uh, details, personal details like first name, last name, uh, what is the reason you want to set uh, your uh, Dynamics environment, all those details we need to give here. So let's wait. It may take some time to uh, load these things. Now uh, you can see here it is converting lead faster. So it is taking some time in the background to create a lead opportunity accounts contacts all these things in the background. So it may take around two to four minutes. So let's just wait here. Uh, if we go to the next one, never miss a deal. Okay, now maximize your revenue. So you can see here uh, it's loading and getting everything ready. So in the background it is creating environment uh, and uh, the default solution for our uh, the sales trial. Now you can see uh, this one is completed now. So it is asking to launch the trial. So just click on this button and now we'll be re redirected towards our environment. So now by default only we'll be able to see the opportunity leads account. Everything is created here, calendar, task. So this is default, which is created by the Microsoft. So we can use this uh, uh, entities, existing entities, uh, to create some additional, if we have an additional requirement which is related to leads, opportunity, anything, so we can use this uh, feature. We can use these existing things. Uh, now let's not focus on uh, these things. Where I'm going to so show you how we can create the environment. So to create the environment, let's go to makepowerapp.com, and here. Here again, uh, one thing you can see here, as soon as you create the environment, you'll see that welcome to 30 day trial instance. So once 30 days over, you have to either convert it to the production environment or you can't use this one. So in that case, we are going to create a 
developer environment where we don't have any restrictions like 30 days per trial instance and all so coming here now this is the default uh, environment uh, it is still taking some time i think maybe some tables are being created in the background that is fine and this is our environment so go to admin center to see all the environments and to add a new environment so times power Okay, let me see here what is the mail ID. You may encounter this when you are trying to log in with your personal email ID. So basically what happens, uh, whenever we create a trial instance, it will give you a two different pages. Like tell, uh, tell about yourself where you will be giving your name, uh, last name, phone number and all. And you will be getting an OTP. And in another page, you they will uh, ask you to give the username and domain name. And at the end, you can see here, we have on Microsoft.com. Okay, so this is the real, uh, what do you call that, credential which you need to give to access that, uh, access that uh, admin portal. So it should look something like uh, XYZ at the rate uh, on Microsoft.com. But here, I think I have already created uh, in the previous time uh, one environment. That's why it is, uh, I have not, I do not have the credential like uh, Dynamics Power at the Red on Microsoft.com. So uh, today itself, I created another environment, sales trial here, you can see uh, sales trial. It, this one is also uh, 30 days left in your free trial. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to create the environment. So this is uh, makepowerapp.com. Here we have sales trial and we have one uh, Dynamics Power and this will be default one, okay? So come to the setting and go to admin center, okay? Remember to copy your this this email ID whenever you log in. You should log in with this only to access this admin page. So now in the environment, we'll be able to see the sales trial when it was created, how many days are left, all those details. And here only we are going to create a new environment. This is sales trial, 29 days remaining. Today it was created, and this is power. Uh, sorry, this is developer environment. So we can use it for uh, so uh, long longer time. I'm now going to create a new environment. Let's give a August environment. Here, uh, select the reason, United States or whatever is your reason from the list. And what 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 do you want it to be like? Is it going to be developer production trial or whatever? What? So sales trial. This is already a trial instance. So no need to, no need to create a trial instance. We'll see the developer one. So there will not be any limitations. Uh, for uh, how long is we when it's going to what do you call that expire so these things are by default enabled you can't change anything click on the next choose your currency deploy sample data click on save so your company at your home location does not allow creating environments in the specified region india okay so now all the environments should be in the same region okay so click on cancel click on new Let's select test in developer click on next next hopefully now it will allow to create a new developer environment and in that environment we are going to create some solution so we have here test environment now in the background uh, some i think uh, some tables and all are being created so let's come here refresh it and in this one, we are going to create a new solution. So from here, we can access that environment. Okay, in the background, it is still it is running. Test is preparing this environment. It can be used once ready. So here you can see in the state, it is still pre preparing. You can wait for two to five minutes. And uh, here you will get the state like ready. Then we can use this environment. So meanwhile, let's wait for some time. And we can, I, I'll show you, uh, meanwhile, the uh, this one, okay, this on Microsoft.com. So in order to check this email ID, what you can do is you can go to the advanced setting here. And in the advanced setting, we have security. And in the users, you should be able to get that email ID. So come here, enable user. Okay, this is mine.
Okay, I think it's not opening. One minute, let me shut out. Okay, it is working now. So here you can see in the primary email we have on Microsoft.com. So create a trial instance from the scratch. Do not use the existing email ID like where I used and uh, it didn't allow me to give this give this name for the email ID. That's why uh, I was getting the error like this one. You cannot sign in this one. Okay. So now let's see here uh, whether this, uh, this is created or not. This one. In the environments states will be ready. I refresh it. It may take five to ten months depending on your reason. So now this environment is ready. Let's go to this environment. From here itself, we can refresh it, and now it should come. And in this environment, we'll we'll create a solution and we'll uh, also give our prefix. So still it is not available here, it's okay. Coming back, refresh it. Let's see if it's available or not. Okay, it is there. Go to test environment. Here, go to solution. Create a new solution. Test solution. And here we have a publisher. Publisher means whenever we create any entity or any field name, it will start with CRD, F8, uh, this one in the beginning. But I don't want this one. I want uh, my name in the in the prefix. So for that, what you can do is go to more options. And uh, sorry, here itself we have. I want dynamics here also, and prefix it should go with the charge. Click on save. Okay, it is created. Here, select that one, Dynamics. Click on Create. Now, going to add a table just to show you the prefix. So, now if you come here down you can see the prefix this one rj underscore you cannot change it so earlier it was some crd56 so if you do not want that uh, default uh, publisher you can create a new publisher of your name give your prefix and then you can uh, create it and enable in your uh, solution so click on save so this is all about creating a trial instance and uh, set, uh, creating a new environment solution so in brief uh, i'll tell you uh, first, we went to Dynamics uh, create trial instance. There we gave our email ID we registered and we got this interface where we already have this leads, opportunity, contacts, everything. And in this one, uh, we went to makepowerapp.com. From here, we, need, we should set up our new environment. So click on setting in the admin center. In the admin center, we should be able to add all our environments. So here you need to give the uh, you need to give your email ID. Once you give your email ID, then you'll come to this one here. Coming here, ad, admin center. Here you'll be able to create, uh, see all the environments. From here itself, if you want to delete any environment or uh, remove it, pause it, whatever, you can select it and you can delete from here or you can create as well. So you have the options to create production environment, uh, uh, trial instance, uh, developer, all those things you can do from here. So this is all about today. If you have any doubts or if you are facing any issue, you can just post in the comment. I'll try to resolve that. Thank you so much.